In this video, I will show you how to drain and refill your Honda Pilot differential, as well as the air bleeding procedure required to achieve a complete fluid exchange. First off, you will need three bottles of Honda Dual Pump Fluid 2. You can also buy Ineos Import Differential Fluid, as it is the same product that Honda sells. You will also need a bottle pump, a torque wrench, a 1 foot 3 8 inch extension, and a breaker bar. Here I have a beam type torque wrench, which you can get on Amazon for about $20, and a clicker which is easier to use in my opinion. You will also need both 18 and 20 millimeter washers as they are not reusable. The first step is draining the old oil. All you have to do is remove the fill and drain bolts, but make sure to remove the top one first as you don't want to remove the bottom one only to find out that the top one is stuck. Here I'm running some fluid through the differential to rinse out some of the remaining old oil. It won't get everything out, but it won't hurt either, and with three bottles you will have some left over, so might as well use it. The next step is to clean the magnet on the lower drain bolt. Install a new washer and screw it back into the differential. This is where you use the torque wrench set to 35 foot-pounds. Now you fill the differential until the oil comes out of the fill hole. The capacity is 1.92 quarts, so pumping 2 quarts in will be enough. For the bleeding procedure, you reinstall the fill bolt with old washer, start the engine, and let it run for 1 minute. Doing this procedure primes the cavities of the electric oil pump which became filled with air when the old fluid was drained out. By running the pump, it takes in the surrounding new oil and drops the level in the differential, requiring that it be topped off. After one minute, you remove the fill bolt and top off the fluid again until it overflows. In my case, very little extra fluid was required, about two pumps of oil was enough. Now you install the new crush washer in the fill plug and torque it to 35 pounds, and you're done. You can drive the vehicle as normal at this point. I have links in the description to the Honda instruction guide referenced in this video, as well as links to the fluids, washers, and tools required. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more Honda Pilot videos, and feel free to ask me a question in the comments section below.